going to tell you about the mystery of the breast, the fourth chamber of the heart. Every man and every lady, every girl, every boy would be very, very happy, delighted if they knew about the mystery of the breast and the nipple. This is a very ancient knowledge. In the Neolithic civilizations, the, the figurines, the statues, are standing like this. They're standing like this, and they radiate out peace into the world. In a Dutch, the word for the nipple is Table. And table is similar to temple. As a child, I thought that the table and temple was a similar word. Because having a child at the breast, nurturing, is a place of peace, comfort, and well being. One of my friends who had breast cancer asked me, please, please Anneke, tell me everything you know about the breast uh, before I will go on to surgery. And I want to have the finest how you speak about the breast and the nipples. I want to remember it even after the surgery. And so I started in 2011 the project, the Mame Nourishing Principle. And then I discovered so many mysteries about the breast, about the nipple, which is for everybody of great importance to know. The breast is the place of peace, peace bringing, comfort and nourishment and now exactly now these qualities of bringing peace I call upon all ladies and all men to activate their nipples and radiate peace into the world this is the most ancient knowledge which the ancestor kept for us now I'm standing on a tumulus, also of the time, uh, the, the oldest inhabitants of this area. And it is like a breast in the landscape. And I want to recall the importance of the breast, the nipples and the eyes. Everything in the body, which is pink, is most sensitive, aware. So if you look to the lips, to the nipples, and other places who are a little bit pinkish, you know the body is super sensitive. This figure looks like a temple, like the Borobudur, the jewels of the Zeus uh, um, seaman. They had this as buttons on this shirt. It, it is an, um, we call it a court, the aureola, we call it a court. Court where you've got the um, different um, entry and exit of energy. So these are very small radars which communicate with the stars. So when the ancient ladies in the Neolithic time, are standing with the hand under the breast, like Chateauhuyuk, Hasilar, um, Binon time, Malta, they radiate peace in the world. So I call upon all ladies and all men to work on this arm disarmament because then it radiates again peace into the world. Man, did you know 
it an Jimmy Atrist, doctor for all people, told me that if man were just allowing them to let their eyes meet any nipple in the world they see, just to get information in, it did them, give them not so many heart attack, heart problems. Because men have eyes which go energy in and they give out somewhere else. Ladies have the energy going in, the yoni, and we radiate out of our eyes. And with our eyes can come a little bit judgment. And this judgment we think man have. Man and lady both can judge, I know. But if man just can peacefully let the refinement of the nipples and, and let it be uh, incorporate the fineness of nip nipples and the peace bringing of the nipples. And the lady would carry the breast proud and peaceful, radiating peace into the world. We will live in a very special world. So I invite you, Mame, Mame, the nourishing principle, please, all ladies and all man radiate peace from the breast. I am Anneke Wittemand from www.beweegreden.org. Thank you for listening. Be blessed and feel active nipples radiating peace into the world.